Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're back inside the Disneyland Resort to try new Halloween time foods that I've recently released here at the resort and see if you should try them before they're gone. We will also be on the hunt for any new Disneyland Resort merchandise that has come out here at the parks recently, as well as taking a tour around Disney California Adventure Park to talk about any new updates that have popped up since the last time we were here. It's all in this video and much, much more, so stay tuned. But before we get started with today's video, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you guys do enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. So let's get started. Good morning, everyone. So we're starting off with the walk to downtown Disney, but specifically to the Disneyland Hotel. It's about 1120 and it is 76 degrees. So we're going to try and get the new Dole Whip that is at the Tangaro Terrace, a.k.a. Trader Sam's, I guess. So we'll see you when we get over there. We have officially arrived here to Tangaro Terrace. It's time to pick up our new Dole Whip. So here are the prices for this new Dole Whip. So it looks like they also have one with rum as well. All right, guys, we made our way over here to Trader Sam's and we went to the quick service bar and we got the new Nightmare Before Christmas Dole Whip. So this is the Nightmare Grog Float. Now, um, I did choose the one that has a rum option. You could get just the Dole Whip soft serve, which is what's on top of here. And then there's my rum choice. So now this is going to be a mango and pineapple Dole Whip and it does have like a green potato starch that's dusted on there, which sounds quite interesting, but let me take my first bite here. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's really tangy. All right, now I'm gonna go in for the rum part. So here we go. Whoa, that's sour. The Dole Whip part is actually very good, quite tangy from that mango flavor. It's like very overpowering, but I actually quite enjoy it. And it's quite sweet compared to the rest of the rum. So I'm looking forward for this to actually melt and diffuse into the rest of the drink as it'll definitely complement each other from that coconut flavor. So definitely recommend the cocktail version. If you want non-alcoholic, make sure you go for the um, regular Dole Whip or you could just do a Dole Whip float version without the rum. So just keep those options in mind. And the cup is so, so cute. All right, Raylani, what do you think? Does this get a thumbs up? Oh, she's yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we call it a uh, Jack's ice cream just because of the cup. She was excited this morning. Is it worth it, Raylani? You think people should come get it? And it's like oogie boogie green, right? Oh, oogie boogie. One more thing before we leave here at Tango Row at Terrace. It looks like they still have the Vampire Stitch popcorn bucket in stock. So if you guys want him, I do believe he's actually served with fries. So you can find him here inside this store. All right, we just finished up at Tangaro Terrace and boy, those Dole Whips were actually really delicious. So we did kind of wash them out just so we can put them in the stroller. We're not carrying around a bunch of Dole Whip juice. Now we are actually gonna be making our way throughout the Disneyland Hotel. We got a couple updates here and then we're gonna make our way inside the parks. So let's go. Now I'm here way a little bit more over here at the Disneyland Hotel. We noticed that they actually moved the Haunted Mansion area onto this side. So it looks like we have the pumpkins and the backdrop for the Haunted Mansion here. Also on the other side where they had um, the Mickey pumpkin backdrop, it's not there. So I wonder if it's actually moved somewhere else, but it is not where it was. But before we go inside the parks, I'm gonna stop here at the Lego store. It is new release day. So here is the new line of Fortnite Lego sets. Now, we actually have never gotten a Fortnite Lego set before, so this is going to be the very first one. But the one that I'm going to be picking up today is the Loot Llama. I love piñatas, and uh, how could you go wrong with this? And Chris is going to get this for me. <laughs> the banana. Banana man. All right, just secured the bag. I got the Loot Llama. Well, there's no, it doesn't say Lego. What? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't say Lego. They cheapen, no. Sometimes on the release dates, they don't have it. Now that we're finishing up here in downtown Disney, it's time to head over inside of Disney California Adventure Park. So let's go. It is now 1237 and we finally have made our way inside of Disney California Adventure Park. 
So let's see what we do for today. So yesterday we got to meet with some amazing Patreons. So Sandy and her mom, it was awesome getting to see you guys yesterday. Sandy's mom actually did give Reilani some money to go get a treat for today's video. So let's go see what Reilani's treat is gonna be today. First stop is Mortimer's Market. Just made our way over here to Mortimer's and it looks like the new Donald Sipper Cup has officially released. So this one does glow in the dark. This is actually the third year he has released. Last year is actually when the glow in the dark effects started happening, but looks really cool. He also comes with this orange lanyard. All right, Raylani's treat of choice today apparently is Doritos. Doritos. <laughs> you want to tell them thank you, Raylani? Yeah. That was very nice of you guys. Now it's time to go inside Five and Dime and see what new merchandise we can find today. It is Tuesday, so that means it's an Oogie Boogie Bash day, and it looks like there's still plenty of stock. So we have the Lounge Fly, the Spirit Jersey, and it still looks like the Ears, Tumbler Cup, and Pins are still available. For $29.99 each, it looks like there are some new Disney Build-A-Pin, and I say new just because I haven't seen it. I don't know if they actually came out today, but there are some really neat looking ones. So maybe this is something that we need to get in the future. For $29.99, it looks like we have a new, I was gonna say Oswald, a new Olaf hat, which looks really cute. Kind of flimsy though, for the price tag of $29.99. I could definitely see myself with it. However, I think it's like a kid's hat. But again, for $29.99, I don't know if it's worth it, but they have it in stock. For $14.99, it's really cool to see another Walt Disney pin, and this one says, it's fun to do the impossible. This is one that I would actually love to be a part of our collection, as I actually have this one over here. So this one like flicks up, and you could see Walt inside if I could get it. So like in there, you could actually see him. Um, and then there also appears to be the Disneyland Railroad one as well. For $64.99, it looks like we have a Jack Skellington button-down shirt. I have seen this one in the past and I desperately need this one. I think it's gonna be our next pickup. So you have Jack right there embroidered, also zero. And then on the back, it looks like we have Santa Jack as well as a little snowman. So I think this is a must pickup. What do you guys think? For $64.99, it looks like we have a Jack Skellington long sleeve shirt. It feels like a crew neck, but I think it's a long sleeve shirt. So we have Jack, zero, and on the back it says Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas with the Halloween Town. So I think Nicole would actually like that one. It does look like they have a plethora of the Oogie Boogie Bash 2024 Spirit jerseys. So if you guys are coming, it looks like there is plenty in stock. For $44.99, it looks like we have some new embroidered ears. Now they're over here in the cocoa department and it looks like it says Mexico. Oh, these are from Epcot. How cute are these? And it looks like for $64.99, we have a new Ratatouille sweatshirt. So it looks like we have some embroidery as well as some like vinyl pieces on here. And on the front, I'm not too sure what that says, but it looks really, really nice. I could definitely see Nicole with this sweater. And doing a Halloween time check here inside of Five and Dime slash Elias and Co. Looks like there's still plenty of merchandise if you guys are coming anytime soon. So it's pretty much like this whole room has Halloween time goodies. For $29.99, it looks like we have this stitch in a lounge chair really really fun and i bet with the new movie coming out we're actually going to be getting a lot more stitch merchandise once it does premiere for 69.99 it looks like we have a new star wars backpack now this is an ewok so we've seen the chewy we've seen the yoda and now it looks like we're going to get a new one i'm tempted i am very tempted this would be so much fun to be able to wear so if you want him it looks like he is in stock and something that appears to not stay on shelves is this new Loungefly Mickey Chrome like glitter bag. And this will run 89 bucks. Really fun. I'm actually kind of digging it. So they have it in stock here. And something that I really respect Disney doing each year is the like veterans collection. 
So they have some of this stuff now finally in stock. So it looks like we have a spear jersey, a shirt, as well as this hat. So that's pretty much all of the new merchandise that I was able to find today inside Elias & Co slash Five and Dime. We'll continue to make our way around the park to see if we could find anything else. But now it's time to meet back up with Nicole and Raylani. I am back with my two beautiful people. Yay. And it's time to see what else we're gonna do. I'm hungry, I love to get some food. We are now gonna make our way, I think a little bit more towards like Pixar Pier. I think we're gonna try something from the outdoor vending carts but something kind of fun that just happened apparently i ran into someone i went to high school with how cool is that and i am beyond sorry that i don't remember um yeah <laughs> but i thought that was so cool i just wanted to document that just because it's special moments like that that makes this like so exciting to do we've also been meeting a lot of you guys today so once again we truly appreciate all of you guys and your support So it looks like the concession stand here in DCA has plenty of the Buzz Sippers. So if you guys are looking for him, they're in stock. Now we have arrived to a concession stand cart here across from the bread tour. Now I think we're actually gonna be picking up the ghost pepper turkey leg. So let's get one. Holy cow, this thing is ginormous. Our first ever turkey leg. I don't know what spiked us to try the ghost pepper, but here we are. This one's gonna be in honor of my stepdad. Um, I do want to do a little concoction, so we're going to head over to the pier and pick up another fun thing. Making our way further to the Pixar Pier, and it looks like we have this really beautiful flower. And it's the only one, so I thought it was kind of special to show in the video. Alright, our next stop brings us here to the Gourmet Coffee Cart. Alright guys, we made our way over here to the pier. We stopped at the cappuccino cart or gourmet coffee cart, whatever you like to call it. Basically, we got the peanut butter cold brew, but in cocktail form, and I'm so excited to try it. So cheers. Wait, before I drink this, did you guys already like this video? Make sure you like it. I can't drink if you guys didn't. Alright, now cheers. Guys, I almost feel like this one is better. Maybe it was the um, topping, the peanut butter topping. It was really delicious. Scary. I did not taste the alcohol quite yet. Maybe the more I drink it, the more it'll start to kind of like surface up. But I think I'm a fan of this one more. Maybe it's because it's not as heavy on the cold roof side as the other one since it was just a plain cold roof. But anyways, this one's my favorite. I definitely got to try this once more before the Halloween time season is done. Now that we got our coffee, our turkey leg, it's time to make our way down to the Pixar Pier as we still need to get one more thing for today's video. And right as we walked in, it looks like the knickknack store facade work is finally completed. However, Lamplight Lounge is, is still under construction, but it's nice to see that this is back up. Five, four, three, two, one, go! We are now down at Pixar Pier, and it looks like the Incredicoaster line is almost non-existent. So it's about like 1.30, but it looks really cool just because I feel like even if I did single rider this, I feel like I could get on like almost immediately. So I guess a Tuesday around this time is a perfect time to jump on this ride. Now, right across from the Incredicoaster, we came over here to pick up one of the garlic cream cheese breads. So that's gonna be in today's video as well. Just picked up the bread. Now it's time to go get one more thing for Raylani. High five? <laughs> yeah just arrived to bing bong sweet stuff we want to point out a couple things just wanted to come in here and see what the stock levels are for the inside out to headbands and it looks like there is plenty in stock over here on this side of the resort so if you guys are looking for this be sure to check out bing bongs and our second item is from memory refreshers here for raylani and then i got you a straw it matches your mirror bow dress. And don't worry guys, she doesn't drink the whole thing. <laughs> and this is also from Sandy and her mom. So let's see. Is it good? Keep going. Oh wait, it's a paper straw, so it takes forever. Good? It is a thumbs up. <laughs> now that we have everything we need to complete our food for today, we're gonna make our way over to Plaza de la Familia, find a table, and enjoy some food with you guys. All right guys, so I'm so excited. Literally last night I was like, I have a concoction we have to try that I just thought of. 
So we got the ghost pepper turkey leg and you heard us say that this is our first ever turkey leg in general, but why go with ghost pepper? I'm sure it's gonna be very hot, but it's a Halloween offering. And then I figured we could probably stuff it with some of the sweet um, garlic bread rolls that you can find over in the pier, maybe to kind of kill off some of that heat if it's gonna be very hot. I think I might try the turkey leg off first by itself to see how well I can handle it and then make my little concoction and tell you if it's worth it or if it's any good. And shout out to Henry's Lego bag. That was the only thing from saving our stroller from getting all this juice, uh, cause it is very, very juicy. So, all right. Ooh, it smells, it smells like turkey. I'm ready for the Thanksgiving vibes. Let's cut this right here first. I think I'm gonna go for this and then put it inside the meat. So first bite. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not tasting the heat yet. All right, I think people might be exaggerating. Honestly, it just tastes like pepper to me. Or I did grow up with a stepdad who like tried all these crazy salsas, Henry can vouch for me. So maybe I'm just like used to this type of spice, but it tastes like pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and try my concoction of putting the turkey leg into the uh, garlic bread roll. I'm really excited for that. All right, so here's my turkey. Now, Henry did say that the turkey leg was like $15 and the bread was, I think, $10. So like $25 for this whole thing. But if you're like with a group of friends, I don't know, I think it might be like a fun way to split off a fun meal idea. Um, the turkey leg alone is definitely worth its price point, but I got my meat in there. I got my roll. Let's take our first bite. Mm. I did it. All right, so Henry's taking his bite. I am starting to feel a little bit of like the tingling pepper spice, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I cannot eat this. It's very good. I'm gonna go with, it is a good bang for your buck. Um, the only downside is you don't get a lot of bread for the amount of meat you're getting with the turkey leg, but you could always take the turkey leg home and make some more of these at home. So try it out. Let us know if you're gonna try it. Please tag us if you guys tried this idea, but I think it's a win in my books. We just finished up with our food and boy was that amazing. I really did enjoy that turkey leg. And you really can't go wrong with that bread. I think now we're gonna be making our way around the park. We definitely gotta get on a ride for today. So I guess we'll see which one we get on. All right, Raylani, what did you find? Let's see. She found the goofy pumpkin. Raylani is still currently not tall enough for the jumping jellyfish. Now what happened, Raylani? What did he give you? He gave you, uh, when you're tall enough, you can cut the front of the line and you can go to the ride when you're tall enough. Wow, she's trying to show it off. <laughs> now we're actually gonna be heading over into Cars Land. I think we're gonna jump on Luigi's and after that we might call the video. So let's go. As we're making our way over to Cars Land, again, one of my favorite views here at Disney California Adventure Park is over here by San Francisco Square the water, all of the fun decorations makes this area look so beautiful. So if you guys are coming anytime soon, again, just admire the beautiful and peaceful moments like this. Just made our way inside of Cars Land and boy, it's always beautiful to come in here, especially during the Halloween time, one of our favorite things to do. Now, one of you guys have asked if there's any other Lightning McQueen orange shirts in stock. So I'll jump inside Sarge's real quick and see. Here inside is Sarge's surplus. I'm just seeing the kids shirt with Lightning McQueen and Vampire Mater, which I wish they made this one in a uh, adults. I was gonna say big kids like me, but yeah, I guess big kid like me, right? But the other one they have is also the Dynaco shirt. For $26.99, they have this really cool Radiator Springs shirt for kids. This is something that I would actually get for Ray Lonnie. It's really, really cute. It would be nice if they had this one in a dress as I know she loves wearing dresses. Now, the only shirts I'm seeing is the one that says Eat At Flows, the Radiator Springs long sleeve shirt, as well as the jacket that Nicole wants. But of course, the other collection that came out, I wanna say last year or earlier this year is still in stock. Just finished up inside of Sarge's surplus at the moment. I am not seeing, even throughout the rest of the resort, none of the large orange uh, Light and McQueen shirts, but hopefully we get a restock. I was gonna say before October, but today's October 1st, so hopefully we get some later this month, but now it's time to jump on the Luigi ride.
got on Luigi's Honkin' Halloween was actually the Hey Mambo, but it was remixed for like a spookier theme. It was like, hey Guido, it's Halloween, I don't know, but it was really cute. And I feel like the ride was more jerky than usual because of the Halloween time season. So I also wanted to point out this area has been under refurbishment for quite a while here in Cars Land. It's all dug up inside, so could that mean that they're actually going to be putting more tables as that would be very awesome for this area of the land. But keep in mind, it's closed for refurbishment and even over there at the Cozy Cones, it's actually pretty tough to sit down, but keep that in mind. Just made our way inside Avengers Campus and oh boy, it's like a ghost town in here. There's no one. This is the scariest land. <laughs> as we're making our way back up to the front to pretty much close out this video, we ran into one of our awesome Patreon members, Gerardo and his family. Oh boy, it's always amazing meeting you guys. Today, I feel like we met so many of you guys and it's truly, you know, unbelievable that you guys are the reason we can continue to do this. So thank you guys so very much. Shout out to all of you guys, all of our channel members, Patreon members. Again, without you guys, this channel wouldn't exist. So once again, just a huge thank you to all of you guys who watch. We made our way back to Buena Vista Street and it looks like the mannequin has the shoulder buddies that Nicole wants. What do you think, babe? I need those crumbs. So if you could please find them, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, let's go inside and see if we could find them real quick. For $39.99, it looks like we have the new Emperor's Groove shoulder buddies. So I think Nicole needs these. I need them, I need them. <laughs> All right, we got two surprises today. So one for my beautiful wife and one for my beautiful daughter. Say thank you. Let's oh my see. gosh, I'm so excited to be rocking these. I will be wearing these for food reviews or if I just need some decision making. These guys are so cute. <laughs> All right, everyone, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. It's an oogie boogie day, so people are starting to merge in. So if you guys are coming anytime soon, be sure to use our affiliate link down below for getaway today. Save on your next trip. But with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed and tap that notification bell to be notified when we do drop a new video. And like we always say, may you always have a magical adventure. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.